Funding for New Mexico in Focus provided by the McCune Charitable Foundation. And the Dnieper Natural History Programming Fund for KNME-TV. And viewers like you. This week on New Mexico in Focus, domestic terrorism. How should New Mexico and the U.S. respond to shootings? There's been more actual loss of life attributable to domestic terrorists than those influenced by um, foreign Islamist organizations. And we take you to the Gila River in the remote southwestern part of our state for this month's episode of Our Land. New Mexico in Focus starts now. Thanks for joining us this week. I'm your host, Gene Grant. The Susana Martinez administration rode in on a promise of more transparency. The ride out, not so much, as the new governor revealed settlements totaling $1 million at the New Mexico Department of Public Safety. But does Michelle Lujan Grisham have a transparency issue of her own? We also take a look at a Walgreens in Española that became one of the most prolific dispensers of opioids in the state in a city with a serious overdose problem. Of course, our minds run the mass shootings in El Paso and Dayton. Former Homeland Security Secretary Janet Napolitano was in studio this week and has some striking thoughts on domestic terrorism. It's also a topic of the moment in New Mexico, and it's where we begin this show with the line. 